you're doing it for that. Okay, so uh, what I've been doing is printing racing wheelchair racing gloves. Uh, so I went to Beckman and I got some 3D scans of some gloves that we already had made by hand. Great. So these, uh, you actually use them while racing as is, or do you got to do something to them? Um, what we do is we lay a layer of suede over it first, and then on top of the suede we do a layer of rubber. And um, so far on the gloves that I printed for myself, uh, I've had over 500 miles on it. And wow. they haven't cracked, they haven't splintered, nothing, and they're very, very durable, which is really cool. So, I mean, in terms of, so your, your overall objective is to, what, get everybody on the team fitted with this? What's the plan? So right now, yeah, the plan is I'm just going to keep scanning everyone. So we right now we have a team of about 22. Um, so I'm going to scan everyone's glove and um, try and print them a pair. And then the next step is to try and come up with a design process so we could have someone um, print a glove without having an original scanned. So um, Travis and I are trying to work out a way to scan the hand. Okay. or scan like some play-doh or some clay or something to get the mold of the hand and then manipulate that on the software and combine it with some kind of outer shell that we already have scanned from the original mm. and create something new. Uh, so you, uh, I don't, you know, so I know you said Beckman, but you know, Beckman seems a scary place. So where did you learn how to get all of that done? Uh, I learned how to do all of this in digital making class. And so, um, we had a project where we just had to um, make something, essentially, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, but we were getting a tour of Beckman, and we were learning all about 3D scanning, and so my object that I bring in the scan was a book. And then I kind of just was able to build up the entire project from there, and I had lots of great support through class, and through the making lab, and through Beckman, and it was a really, really cool experience. So, I mean, the old way of doing it, how much time would that take? The old way, I would say about 10 hours probably of work, just like molding and manipulating that plastic by hand, and then probably another three hours um, cutting out the rubber and gluing on all of the other extra materials. Or in like, when I was in high school, I always, you have to use, if you don't have these hard gloves personally made, you have to use the kind you buy online, and they're not great quality, and they don't really, they're not, there's only three sizes, so they're not custom fit at all. Okay. And so if I could like, I don't know, have anyone from around the country send me a scan of their hand, I could hypothetically send them a glove in return. Hopefully, you know, when people see this video, they will uh, <laughs> pony up some money for your projects. Yes, that would be fantastic. Right. Well, thank you for uh, coming here and you know sharing your uh, story with us, and we hope uh, you the best in your project. Thank you very much.